Welcome to Math is Fun. Let's enjoy learning about prime numbers and composite numbers. Some whole numbers can be divided up evenly, and some can't. Example. 6 can be divided evenly by 2 or by 3. 6 equals 2 times 3. Like this. 6 divided into 2, or 6 divided into 3. But 7 cannot be divided up evenly. And we give them names. When a number can be divided up evenly, it is a composite number. When a number cannot be divided up evenly, it is a prime number. So 6 is composite and 7 is prime. And that explains it, but there are some more details. Not into fractions. We are only dealing with whole numbers here. We are not going to cut things into halves or quarters. Not into groups of one. Okay, we could have divided seven into seven ones, or one seven, like this. But we could do that for any whole number. So we should also say we are not interested in dividing by one or by the number itself. Definition. It is a prime number when it can't be divided evenly by any number except one or itself. Example. We have seven apples. Is seven a prime number or composite number? Seven is prime. We cannot divide seven evenly by two. You would get two lots of three with one left over. We cannot divide seven evenly by three. You would get three lots of two with one left over. We cannot divide seven evenly by four or five or six. We can only divide seven into one group of seven or seven groups of one. So seven can only be divided evenly by one or itself. So seven is a prime number. Definition. It is a composite number when it can be divided evenly by numbers other than one or itself. Example. We now have six apples. Is six a prime number or composite number? Six can be divided evenly by two or by three, as well as by one or six. So six is a composite number. Sometimes a number can be divided evenly many ways. Example, 12 can be divided evenly by one, two, three, four, six, and 12. 1 times 12 equals 12, 2 times 6 equals 12, 3 times 4 equals 12. So 12 is a composite number. And note this, any whole number greater than 1 is either prime or composite. What about 1? Years ago, 1 was included as a prime, but now it's not. 1 is neither prime nor composite. Factors. We can also define a prime number using factors. Factors are numbers we multiply together to get another number. And we have, when the only two factors of a number are one and the number, then it is a prime number. It means the same as our previous definition, just stated using factors. And remember, this is only about whole numbers, one, two, three, etc not fractions or negative numbers. So don't say I could multiply half times six to get three, okay? Examples. Three equals one times three. The only factors are one and three, so it is prime. Six equals one times six, or six equals two times three. The factors are one, two, three, and six. So when there are more factors other than one or the number itself, the number is composite. Examples. From 1 to 14 apples, not prime or composite. Prime, prime, composite, prime, composite, prime, composite, 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 Prime, composite, prime, composite. So, when there are more factors other than one or the number itself, 
the number is composite. A question for you. Is 15 prime or composite? Why all the fuss about prime and composite? Because we can break apart composite numbers into prime number factors, it is like the prime numbers are the basic building blocks of all numbers, and the composite numbers are made up of prime numbers multiplied together. Here you can see it in action. 2 is prime, 3 is prime, 4 is composite, 2 times 2, 5 is prime, and so on. Now here's an example. 12 is made by multiplying the prime numbers 2, 2, and 3 together. 12 equals 2 times 2 times 3. The number 2 was repeated, which is okay. In fact, we can write it like this using the exponent of 2. 12 equals 2 squared times 3. And that is why they are called composite numbers, because composite means something made by combining things. This idea is so important, it is called the fundamental theorem of arithmetic. There are many puzzles in mathematics that can be solved more easily when you break up the composite numbers into their prime number of factors. A lot of internet security is based on mathematics using prime numbers. Thanks for watching. Now it's time to put your knowledge into practice, so go ahead and try the your turn questions at the end of mathisfun.com slash prime dash composite dash number dot html. See you next time.